Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and I'm back with five more Super Mario Odyssey glitches. If you're the finder of any of these glitches, please let me know in the comments below. There's a lot of videos of these glitches out there, I'm not really sure who to give proper credit to. I'll show you these five glitches today, and I'll also explain exactly how you can do them on your own. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have the glitched Mario face. This is a glitch that takes a very long time to do, but is quite easy. The first thing we're going to do is head to the darker side of the moon, and then we're going to head to the frogs. In order to do this glitch, we're going to have to do another glitch that I've showcased before, the flying frog glitch. If you don't remember how to do this, we'll jump high in the air with a frog, uncapture, land on the other frog as we're falling down, and he's jumping up, and then we'll capture the other frog. You get your timing just right, you'll be able to swim in the air as a frog. We have to use this glitch to activate the glitched face Mario. Now we're just going to swim over here, heading towards the tall building. This will take a while to do. This is at 20 times speed here. Basically, we want to make the top part of the Odyssey disappear. After swimming away from the Odyssey for about five minutes or so, eventually that top section will be completely gone. Once it is, we're going to jump out of the frog and ground pound. If you bounce off the frog, go ahead and ground pound again. Now we will endlessly fall through the galaxy. And we will just keep falling and falling and falling. Now if we pause the game and take a look at Mario, he looks pretty normal. The weird thing about this glitch is the longer that we fall, the more glitched Mario's face is going to get. As you can see, there's some flickering in his eyes. Now every time I'm pausing here is about 15 to 30 minutes later. And as you can see, over time, Mario and Cappy's faces both get super glitchy. I only did this about four hours. So if you have more patience than me and you can go longer than that, you might even be able to get their faces even more glitched out. So here we are about four hours later, and as you can see, both Mario and Cappy are really screwed up looking. I'd love to see this after about 10 hours. I'm sure it gets crazier and crazier. Next up, we have the Darker Side Breaker. To do this glitch, we're going to head over to the Darker Side Challenge. Don't kill any of the Goombas here and head up these walls. Once we're at the top, we're going to defeat this mini boss without killing any of the Goombas. If you long jump here, you can land on the top and do your first hit. Now we'll repeat these steps, climb up to the top, long jump and hit them a second time. This will drop out a heart. This is what we need to activate the glitch. The next step is to gather up all these Goombas. Now we want to take the Goombas over to the heart, uncapture the Goombas, and when they head towards Mario, throw Cappy at them just as they're going through the heart. If done correctly, everything will freeze. However, we can still uncapture so we can climb out of the Goombas. Now that we've frozen time, we can do a lot of neat things in the darker side. For instance, we can run on lava. Coins are not collectible, and if you accidentally throw Cappy, you may lose him forever. Here we can run through the lava again, making this section way easier. At first, you might even think, hey, this might be another easy way to get through the darker side. However, some of the jumps get pretty tricky without Cappy. This section can be quite annoying, but now it's super easy. Not only can we run through the lava, but nothing can damage us either. But here is the end of our adventure as we cannot use the little cannon here. If you jump off the ledge and board them, you will just fall forever and ever and ever. All right, up next, we have the very unfortunately named Wet Nut Glitch. All right, so to do this glitch, we just need a nut from anywhere in the game and some water. Take the nut to the water and jump in. Now, if we jump into a ground pound, we'll take the nut all the way to the bottom. Then we can toss it, let it land on the ground, and pick it up and swim back out. Now we want to take the nut to somewhere safe where no enemies are going to be trying to kill us. Once we find a safe spot, we'll jump, toss, and dive. And as you notice, you could do this over and over and over. For some reason, taking the nut to the bottom of the water allows you to do this glitch. But the timing is really tricky and I suck at it. Let's slow this down real quickly. We jump, toss, dive. Then we just keep tossing and diving. Do note if you keep the ZL button held down as you hit the nut, it seems to make the glitch work a little easier. Have fun leaping through the sky. Next up we have the invisible pole. 
head to the toad over here near the dark side challenge. There's a giant pole here over behind him. If we drop off the map and hold straight right around where we think the pole would be if it continued down, you'll grab an imaginary pole. And if you keep on sliding down, eventually, well, you just die. Nothing too exciting there. Making him face the opposite way, it does look quite neat as he's climbing up the invisible pole. However, you might hit some invisible walls here and there and need to twist and turn. You can also go up through the ground. Not too much crazy you can do with this, but I still thought it was a pretty interesting glitch. All right, lastly, we got no scooter needed. Remember that really annoying glitch where you had to take a scooter and land between these stairs and wiggle your way in and somehow you clip through the wall and then you can play around in there? Well, it turns out this whole time all we needed to do was jump, ground pound, and roll on through. It's that easy. It does it every single time I try. You don't need a stupid scooter. You don't have to wiggle your way around. It's super, super easy. Every single time, jump, ground pound, roll. Glitch activated. That easy. Alright guys, once again, if you are the finder of any of these glitches, please let me know in the comments below. If you know of any glitches I haven't showcased before, be sure to let me know in the comments, on Twitter, or in the BTG Discord. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.